Hello all my Scrap and Aims peeps uh, and anyone else who stumbles across this haul video. Uh, I am going to apologise first and foremost for the lighting if it comes in and out. All of a sudden I have sunshine in my craft room. I didn't like literally five seconds ago. Uh, it's a bit of a overcasty kind of day and it's being a bit crazy. Um, but as you would have seen, I am doing a haul video for you. Um, and if you hear strange noises, my kitten is running around chasing... I don't know what. Um, but anyway, so for Mother's Day, um, I got to order some goodies uh, in one of the Blitzy.com uh, sales. Uh, so I added some lovely goodies to uh, some of my scrappy collections. So I wanted to share them with you today because I'm going to potentially start scrapping with them and you'll start seeing them pop up very shortly in my... <coughs> videos excuse me all right so firstly I'm very excited about this one I added some the rest of the goodies I couldn't get when I ordered some them through scrapbook.com the other week oh I know the other week like weeks ago I'm gonna zoom you in hang on is that zoomed in enough yeah I think so anyway so <coughs> I have fallen in love with the crepe paper or heart collection um, I think it is going to be one that is going to be very readily used in my scrapbooking because I have a scrapbook for three girls essentially, my my daughter, my stepdaughter and my niece. But I essentially brought this collection to scrapbook for my teenage stepdaughter. I find this collection very much, oh I just cleaned my Jane Davenport mat and it is super <laughs> ah, sticky, oh my god. Sorry about that. Um, so I find it really teenagey, kind of funky, um, sort of driven. So when I brought the, I brought some papers, and you would have seen in a process video back, a couple of process videos back, I did a double page spread layout using some two of the paper or a few of the papers from from the lay um, from this collection. Sorry, I can't think. My head's not working very well today. Um, hence I'm doing this video because I'm not at work. Um, yes, for her, for my stepdaughter's album. So yes, anyway, so I was showing her this morning and she was very excited. So yes, so here's some of the chipboard stickers I brought. I really was going to go nuts, but I chose to not. Uh, so I really like these. They have some of the, um, they have some like foiling or glitter on some of them. Um, so that should be fun to play with but like she loves record players she does peace sign uh, she loves doing this uh, she was telling me telling me this morning uh, and I like some of the, um, <clears throat> the phrases I wanted to put in there for her like here comes fun looking good you know shine on you go girl those sorts of things so that was that's the chipboard stickers I then got the um, six by eight six by eight yeah paper pad because i love my cameo and i'm really using it up at the moment like really trying to do some cut files so my stepdaughter saw this and loves this paper piece of paper um so these are bits and pieces in there you see the papers there um so that should be good and then I brought the ephemera. Now, as I said, I could have gone nuts and brought puffy stickers and everything, but I am a budget scrapper, so I sort of buy the essentials to start with. I might add to it as I go along. So I'm showing the front, not the back. So there's some of the ephemera pieces there. So that should be cool. And then, so, remember and then, uh, I then brought the Horizon... 6x8 paper pad. Uh, I love the colours of this paper pad. Um, of this, I do love the colours of this collection. Unfortunately, I'm not a traveller, so uh, it's travel themed and I could have got it, but I don't know how much I would use the collection. So I may get some more of the ephemera and the floral packs later on in another haul, but at the moment, I wanted to get the All Heart. I had, as I said, budgeting 
budget scrapper here guys so I sort of aim for what I am going to scrap the most of so I'm not a travel scrapper that's what this uh, I sort of a homebody we don't get out much uh, so horizon is very travel themed so I sort of took them out of my cart and just got the paper pad because I love the colors um, so I know I will use this and I'll use the papers in it as I said cut files things like that I love pages work um, Paige Evans and yes so I got that then I decided I would try the new collection from Heidi Swap mainly because my son uh, I like and he loves wolves so that is his animal um, so I thought I would give this a go uh, I got only a couple of things from it. it they were very much on special like this was like five bucks for this paper pad so very much heavily marked down at the minute um, so I got a couple of things because I don't know how much I will use it we're not as I said not big adventurers we definitely don't go camping but he is very much an outdoorsy boy um, so I'm sure I can figure out ways of using it and being you know not that I'm particularly gender specific sorry I couldn't say that then um, but I thought for him I wanted to get this um, yeah just to give it a go not a huge Heidi um, person but I wanted to give it a go so for him so I got that one and then I got the ephemera which is that so howling at the moon I love that so but I do like some of the sentiments be brave kindness and courageous um, <clears throat> whatever you are be all there like again it's like the 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 all heart I love the the, the phrases and the sentiments and the sort of overall yeah I'm very big with my teenage the teenagers in my heart all three of our kids to make sure we really are inspiring them to be all they can be uh, and then I got the sticker sheet so yeah lots of layering pieces um, and and whatnot so that's that then as I said when I order, I'm trying to order things with collections. Now I used to just order bits and pieces. Now I'm sort of taking the approach of having collections so they all sort of match. Um, and I do order for what I'm scrapping for as opposed to just ordering randomly just because it's cool to do so. Uh, so as I said, uh, we've got three kids, two girls and a boy, two teenagers and a six-year-old. And then I scrap for my nieces and nephews. So I sort of try and go that way as well as also, you know, my arty side as well. So this collection, I decided, I, I did like this when I saw it through Creativation. Um, I got the Chamel, some of the Chamel Sparkle City. Because I thought this would go well. It's very playful. It's very bright. This will go well for my six-year-old's book. Uh, and my niece, my six-year-old niece. They're six weeks apart. Uh, so Chamel Sparkle City. I got the chipboard stickers. Uh, I just find these really great value. Um... They also add some great dimension to your layouts as well. They're big, so they're big sort of drawing points for 12 by 12 layouts. They're also really good for project life when you want to add like on your cards. Uh, if you're making your own cards up or if you've got a card that's blank, you can just pop one of these on or layer them up and you've got some a really easy sort of card to use. But I liked this better than some of the other um, things you could get for Sparkle City. Again, like the other... The other collections, I added all of it to the cart and then I go through and sort of delete um, because, you know, got a budget, got to stick to it uh, and some things are better than others. Uh, so that's the chipboard stickers. I, I couldn't go past Chamel's enamel stickers. I love her stuff, enamel stickers. I think I loved the ones from one of her last collections. As I said, my head's not working and I can't remember what they were. Anyway, I love them. They were in a bigger pack than this, though. Uh, I got the sticker and washi folder. Again, 364 pieces for, like, 4 bucks. Bargain. So I definitely got this. Uh, as you can see, if I open it, excuse the Russell Russell for a sec. Ah, hang on. That didn't work. I'm going to show you. Here you go, without the plastic. That's what you get in that. And like that's pretty good bar like value I thought. 
Um, so if you're looking at things, you know, really have a look when you if you're shopping and you know you've got a budget to stick to. Like look at all the different things you can get. There's washi in there. There's stickers. There's alphas little phrases again you could get the puffy stickers sheet it depends on what your scrapping style is like what you use for me it's value 364 stickers and you've got all that so i'm going to go with that um, it will last me a while well we shall see i guess <clears throat> and i think it's like a little folder too from memory when i saw it advertised now I got this. This I toyed with. I didn't like the idea at first when it said journaling pad. And when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I thought they were little. Now, I haven't actually flicked through. Um, but I thought they were little journaling pieces. I thought, I don't need those. But then I looked again and had a look properly. And they're actual sheets of paper um, that you can cut up um, and you can journal on and those sorts of things. So I was like, oh, that's okay. I can work with those. They're different. Don't get me wrong. Let's let's have a squeeze hang on i'll show you because i actually haven't looked at it properly because i only like it literally only arrived this morning so i ordered this sunday of mother's day which today is friday the 23rd so it's like two weeks which is pretty good turnaround um mind you the, i couldn't follow the tracking on there because it wouldn't give me any more tracking once it left the u.s so i was like oh, was like, oh. uh, i wasn't expecting it until next week which was Double whammy because Canberra has a public holiday on Monday. I mean, I've been off sick all week, which has just been fantastic. Not. So. Oh, I can't get this sticker off. Hang on, I'm getting there. So, as much as I love, I would rather shop Australian. It's very hard to get stuff here, and I know that. Um. And the cost can be very... I did look at Australian things and I, I'm very much a window shopper and I will have a good look. And usually I and I do uh, order scrapbook.com. I did order my original All Heart stuff, but they didn't have very good sa much sales on. So this is what it looks like. So it's not your typical 6x6 six six because you have your journaling. But, again, if you're layering it behind things, you're not going to see it. But it does make it a little different. And if you're a bit of a planner, uh, you could use it for planning. Look, there's a nice plain one. Oh, that, that's actually really pretty. Um, that's really cool. But I really love the look of this. Uh, I'm not always a Chamel person. I do like most... I, eh, I do like her stuff. I'm just not always... I love her colours. But the design, if that makes sense, it's very playful. It's not always my style if that makes sense i don't know something about it um i did buy some more of her glitter girl stuff in my last scrapbook.com spend uh because i didn't mind that one either but i really liked this when i saw it come out at creativation so uh and i may get some of the 12 by 12 papers if i order some more stuff <laughs> you'll be planning ahead oh well that's okay I don't think my other half will watch this video anyway, he watches my videos, so it doesn't matter. He doesn't know what I'm planning. Uh, but yeah, so this is my Blitzy haul. Um, I'm actually looking forward to getting into it, and I'm hoping to have some scrappy time. We have a three-day weekend. Four for me, because I'm not working today, but how much I actually do today will be dependent on how I'm feeling. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, just uh, as I said, and I don't know how everyone else likes to shop. I shop trying now to buy collections. This is the only thing that didn't because I don't necessarily think I'll use it in a collection. But that's my new way of shopping collection-wise. And when then I shop collection, I try and get the essentials in it. So the ephemera, the paper, and then maybe something else like um, maybe the stickers or chipboard or whatever's going to be the best budget-wise. Some people don't have to stick too much to a budget, but for me, there is a framework for me, and that's that's what I stick to. Um, but yeah, so, and also what I'm going to use with what I'm scrapbooking for. But yeah, so that's my Blitzy haul. Um, if you've got any questions about it, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, stay tuned for what I create with these. Uh, see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.